So up till now, we have had a look at something called a geometric sequence, which is something like this that you can see on the screen, where to get from the 3 to the 6, you would multiply by 2, and from the 6 to the 12, you would also multiply by 2, and so on and so forth, until the 48. So any type of sequence where you have to multiply by a particular number is called a geometric sequence. But then if we change the sequence to look like this, then we could think of it as a geometric sum, which means you would want to add everything together, where SN stands for the sum, A is term number 1, R is your ratio, which is the number that you multiply each time, and N is your position. Some teachers use the following formula, which is simply the, the 1 and the R are switched around. Both formulas work, you can use whichever one you prefer. And so let's give this formula a quick little test run. Let's say we wanted to know what the sum of these five terms was. So the sum up to five terms, so that over there is my version of S, and then the five is just position number five, equals to A, well A is term one and that's three, one minus your ratio is two, because you have to multiply by two each time to the power of 5, that's the position that we are looking for, and then at the bottom we have 1 minus 2. If you plug all of that in on the calculator, you get a value of value of 93, because if we look at position 1 to 5, and then we look at the sum, well the sum of the first one is 3, then you're adding 6, so that's 9, and then you're adding 12, which is 21, then you're adding 24, which is 45, and then 45 plus 48, well that's going to give us 93. But once again, we have a sum or a formula that can help us calculate the geometric sum of a geometric pattern.